time. All right, um, let's um, sw uh, switch to fashion because obviously you've got kind of fashion going on here as well. And um, what I like, um, do you have fashion rules for yourself? No, I don't really follow fashion. I just like style. I mean, I love certain fashion designers. Um, but yeah, for me, it's about like personal style and um, doing your own thing. Um, fashion, um, like in the olden days, I'll say, was like um, something you were able to express yourself with. Like if you're a rebel, you, you were a rebel if you were wearing like cut out jeans and a, a leather jacket. But obviously today that's kind of a standard uniform or a standard outfit that you do. Um, do you think fashion is still a, a thing that you can express yourself with or is that or show yourself that you're a rebel? Yeah, definitely. I mean, for sure. I think obviously as time goes by, like more trends get replicated and, you know, like the 90s as a trend, like comes back in the 70s, like whatever, like, you know, it's like that makes it difficult to like do something that totally original. But, um, but yeah, I think you, fashion can still be a place where you express yourself. I mean, I certainly feel like that with the clothes that I wear. How do you, what's like your signature thing you wear or put on? My signature thing, I don't know. Um, I don't really have a signature thing that I like wear every day. I think my signature thing when it comes to like my style is probably just like my really big hair. Yeah. Um, everything else is kind of interchangeable. Like I'm really into flares at the moment. Mm -hmm. These are flares, they're like zebra flares, they're kind of cool. Um, I wore some woolen flares in my last video with Rita and they kept like stretching and falling down, which was not so great on the video shoot. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I really like to experiment with fashion and style. All right, we've got obviously younger viewers. Um, what, what, what's like a, t a fashion tip that you would give them if somebody's like just um, finding their style at this point in time? Um, I would say, like, watch your favourite movies. Like, that's definitely where I um, really, like, kind of got a lot of my own style from. Because, you know, like, when you're young and you look through fashion magazines, like, you don't have enough money to go and, like, buy Obviously. stuff from the runway. Like, that just isn't really, like, a thing. Um, so... Like, I would always say just, like, look at your favourite movie characters. Like, I was always really inspired by Cher Horowitz from Clueless and Liv Tyler and Empire Records and, like, The Craft and uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, The Fabulous Stains. And then I would go to, when I was younger, I'd always go to vintage stores and that's where I got most of my clothes from. Um, and, yeah. And I would also say if you're, like, really into fashion, like, learn how to make stuff. Like, I could never do that. I used to staple clothes together. I'm just happy if I can put on my face, like, in the morning and it looks all right at that point. <laughs> is that is that something you're able to do? Like, put things on your face and it looks all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all right at it. I'm not, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, I, I'm very lucky to have people who do that kind of thing for me now. Um, so I'm kind of a tomboy. Like, I don't know what, like, certain, like creams and yeah. sprays and whatever are I'm just kind of like Bleh. I'm just like okay it sounds all right it's a good description the packaging is really cool so I'm just going to wear that I always read the directions when it comes to like hair product stuff because I don't know anything about it you know the apply of use or something like yeah. that yeah <laughs> all right. but who, who are people that you like to look at like um style wise and just like people you say oh you, you're a good looking person with your clothes on and everything <laughs> Uh, I think Rose McGowan, Marilyn Manson, um, 90s Mariah Carey, mm -hmm. definitely, like 90s Britney, right. people like that. And so what's something like, um, obviously when you're younger you, you wear clothes that you now regret. Do you have that kind of thing, something that you regret? Oh, so <laughs> many. I had Hit me. Okay, I had this like blue wig that I used to wear. It's like a... Marge Simpson wig that I wore um, and I would sometimes like stuff it into a plastic teapot with the hole cut out of the bottom so I had this like teapot. Oh, yeah that sounds so weird. Yeah it was really <laughs> weird and I also would wear like these huge tutus that were like out here but I'd wear two at once like a pink and a blue one but they were like massive um, and like leotards like just so many weird things. I'm not 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 being offensive, anything, but it sounds like something you'd wear to like a bad taste party at that point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally was that exactly that. Okay, 
cool. So, but tonight, um, no uh, Marge Simpson thing? Not tonight. Right. Tonight is all about Silver and Zebra and Debbie Harry. Oh, cool. Well, then, um, have fun with Debbie Harry tonight, and thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Cool.